Hello, OAS family. It's time for another book review, and today we are going to review a book by Chao Chen called The Anthology of Landscape Painting. So before we get into the details of this book, uh, let's go over some rough statistics. Um, so the book is a very popular size, which is it is eight and a quarter inches wide by 11 and three quarter inches high. And the book has approximately 151 pages. As you can see, it's actually bound in this old Chinese style, which uh, to those of us uh, in the West, it's actually reverse. So this is actually the front cover and the book is read this way. So the thing that's, before we get into the, the uh, body of the book, the thing that, uh, the reason why I got focused on this book was I got a call from one of our customers and what she was saying was that she was remarking that the books that focused on sequential instruction that were trying to give you step-by-step -step instruction for how to do the paintings, the paintings that were featured were actually simple and in her mind overly simplistic. So what she wanted was a book that had what she called more complex or more um, composition quality paintings, you know, ones that uh, hadn't been simplified for teaching purposes. And most of those books are hardcover albums, which means that they're going to be expensive. But this book is actually an album of collected works that's available in a soft cover. And you can see that the artwork, uh, especially these landscape compositions, are, are quite interesting and uh, have a lot of variation. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. So at the beginning here, we have some calligraphy examples. And here is an introduction. It talks about landscape painting and um, the author's relationship to landscape painting. And so now we will get into the work here. This one's called Lonely Path in the Vernal Woods. Here's a detailed sort of blown up version and then here's a closer up look this one is spring mountain after rain you can see here this lovely coastline that has this wonderful white space and then this impressive mountain and leading into a valley such a great um, inspiration for composition here really really nice Vertical paintings is Peach Blossom Valley here on this side, and then Winter Silence on the left-hand side. Gazing at the waterfall over here, and then a detailed shot of it here where you can see the figure resting under a tree looking out over this waterfall and river. And this is Mountain Temple, and then the detailed shot of that painting. This one's called Remote Hermitage. Really nice sort of panoramic view. There's a couple circular compositions. This one on the right is Early Spring. Sounds of Autumn and Crunch Underfoot. This is Spring Outing and Miss Over the Valley. Really daring shape. Azure Woods, comma, cool waters, and snow, snows of Meichu. Pure and distant vistas, and mountain pavilion. And this one is 
another panoramic painting, which is Bamboo Groves in Misty Bay. Boating by the Red Cliff and Flying Snows of Chinese This is the gathering at the Vernal Orchard and Nine Twist Gorge. Autumn sails in winter, wintry outing. And this is Pine Grotto Peak and listening to the spring. Lofty path and then in search of snow plums. This is Return of the Swallow and Sounds of the Ancient Temple Bell. And then these two are done on this darker, almost gold paper. And then some more on these types of papers here. Cooling off under the moon and for distant vistas. This is Homeward Bound and Warming Earth. Solitary sitting and moonlit snow plums. Mountain retreat and lost in ancient friendship. So morning mists in the mountain dwelling and home among wild mountain plums. This painting is called Roaming in the Mountain Woods. And we have a couple detail shots. One here where you can see the close up of the figure walking over a small bridge. And then this other one where you see the detail of the water. Here are two more detail shots of that painting. Boating on Ling Stream. And this is cool breezes in my thatched hermitage. Distant sails on spring waters. Chats beneath the ancient temple. Here is Old Pine Revisited and Autumn Memories. You can see here we're we're not even through half of the book, and you can see um, these albums. They really give you a lot of content um, when they don't have to take up a lot of pages to show these sequential breakdowns. They can really show you a lot of paintings, and you can learn quite a lot just from looking at these compositions. Um, you know, the compositions are, are so valuable. Um, this is Mountain Retreat in the Bamboo Grove, and this is Rowing Towards My Ancient Home. This, across the two pages, is called Flaming Maples, Quiet Waters. Azure Resonance After Rain. This is Dwellings by the Tree Line. This is a very different stylistic painting. We see these kind of like uh, this rendering of the water here, which I've come to associate more with the Japanese painting, but um, um, it is really, I guess it was popularized by a Japanese painter. Uh, so it's really nice to see that here in this foreground element. And then you see this plain ocean off in the distance with island. Roaring sprays and Dreams of White Cloud Peaks. Green 
my vernal hills in a detailed shot. Sounding the chin in my remote hermitage and the precipices of my heart. Mooring beneath the willow trees and rocky path after rain. Autumn desolation fill my breast and heroic reverberations. Pavilion among dense verdure and distant vistas from the moon sun. This is visiting friends in Autumn Grove. it down with something very simple called Lakeside Respite. And over here we have one called Quiescence by the Dragon Tarn. And studying the summer over here and returning skiff over here. So you can see there's quite a bit of nice variety here. There's some simpler compositions. There's quite a few very ambitious compositions. And each one you could learn from or just do paintings inspired by. Okay, this is Pine Cliffs of Changnan. Cliffside Hermitage over here and Secluded Path, Solid Fort Terry Boyle. Across these two pages is a lifetime of mountain wandering. Wakeful over the misty gorge over here, and then a detailed shot of that same painting over here where you can see the two figures over here walking along the path up close, and then the details of what's in the background of the house over here. This is Boat Song in June. There's a detailed shot of that painting. Across these two panels is Rain Washed Eastern Slope. Vernal woods in morning mist and sunbathe the lake shore. Autumn colors over my mountain home over here. And winter landscape called wintry blustering. Across these two, we have a very nice example of clouds and mist rendering called descending clouds at nightfall. Great how they get this effect by leaving that white space and finishing these strokes with this dithering to suggest the color. And then here's some detailed shots of that painting. The cadence of the mountain stream on the right side and the tortoise peak at sunrise over here. And then you can see that there was more detailed things at the very beginning, and now we're getting into some looser work where there's less emphasis on outlines. This is Waterfall at Yangshan and Verdure and Rain. Fine Drizzle in Spring across these two pages. And then here's some details of those paintings. And then rainwashed foliage along the mountain path is this one. And then on a calm, sunny day over here, really love the flow of this composition. Across these two panels, we have lakeside vapors at Even Evensong. these two pages, Misty Landscape Within My Breast. This is recollect, Recollecting Old Times on a Mountain Path. And 
detailed shot here. And then we've got floating along azure currents up top here, this panoramic one, and the lower panoramic one, mountain colors at dawn. Across these two panels. Also a painting called Mountain Colors at Dawn. This is a different painting. Yes. And this is Summering at Lishan. Harmonizing Spirits in the Wilderness Plain. Over here we have Kanshi Mountain Manor. So that is the book called Anthology of Landscape Painting by Chao Chen. You can find more information about this on our website at orientalartsupply.com. And if you liked, uh, uh, for more content on, like this, make sure to like and subscribe to, like this video and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment if you have any suggestions or would like to request any book reviews in the future or anything else for that matter. And we are happy that you're here. Thank you for watching and we wish you happy painting.